Cohen watching out for you tonight with more on this Winter Weather Preparedness Week. Andy. That's right, Rob. Winter Weather Preparedness Week is really the federal government's way of encouraging us to be thinking ahead and get ready for those snowy roads and freezing temps. And today we wanted to see how the city agencies that we depend on during these cold snaps are preparing themselves. For city truck drivers, gearing up for the changing seasons means making sure their rigs are ready to become plows. Um, our fleet department goes through the plows, the sanders, the trucks, um, you know, in case anything's not working. Gives them time to repair it, order parts, that kind of stuff. The drivers also get two days of training to go over safety techniques. Meanwhile, at the firehouse, the pumps on the brush trucks like this one need to be drained. Otherwise, if we're to take them out and let them sit, we'll freeze the pumps and blow up those housings. It's expensive fix. And spraying hundreds of gallons of water on a fire when it's freezing outside is a good way to create some ice. So many firefighters keep extra gear in their lockers, like these yak tracks. We have winter wear that we will put on, special boots, special outerwear that allows us to go spend 12 or 13 hours if someone's lost or stranded a hiker or, or injured. Police officers have less to prepare for, but they know icy roads can lead to accidents. When the call volume reaches a point where it bogs down response times, they'll designate it an accident alert day. Another trend, stolen cars, the result of people leaving them running with the keys inside. Puffing, as it's called, is not only illegal, but could also open you up to lawsuits. Getting ready for winter comes down to simply thinking ahead. And that includes how you stock the firehouse pantry. Year round for chili, but yeah, definitely hot meals. You know, the one I always cooked were specialty grilled cheese and tomato soup on the cold days. And you gotta love the grilled cheese. So the city of Colorado Springs has actually put together a very helpful list of ideas and tips on how to get you and yourself, your, your home and your family all ready for winter. It is posted online and we of course will link to it in the digital version of this story. Just go to KOAA.com, click on the news tab and look for winter weather preparedness. Rob? Andy, thanks.